Hello and welcome! Straight out of the opening, Sifos gets an isolated central pawn, Leela proceeds with creating a second weakness, and then, after eliminating any counterplay, she takes out the weak pawns and wins the game. With white, we have again baby Leela, codenamed T40, who is currently, somewhat surprisingly, leading in CCC's Winter Classic Tournament ahead of her older sister T30, Stockfish, Komodo, and some of Leela's cousins. In this position of the pseudo Taraj defense of the Queen's Gambit, there were some games where humans played knight c3 or e3, but Leela proceeded with rook c1, and after a couple more developing moves, she played knight e1, heading to d3 to control both c5 and e5, but also to maybe jump to f4 if Sifus is not looking, and maybe snatch the d5 pawn after she takes out the knight. Knight back, and now Lila creates an imbalance by giving up her dark squared bishop and establishing the central pawns on dark squares, wherefrom they are in perfect harmony with the remaining bishop. Queen a5, threatening to win a pawn after knight d4, since uh, this is defended only once. Knight e2, maybe going to f4. C4 stops that with g5. Knight d3, hoping for c5, b6. Lila creates now a hiding spot for the king, bishop back, and now Lila proceeds with creating a second weakness. The d5 pawn is weak, but can be defended enough, so Lila needs something extra to attack in order to divide black's forces. She takes away some squares from the black queen with a4, and she's setting up to exchange her isolated pawn with the one on b6. That would give this rook an open file, and would make the remaining black pawn easier to attack but it would also become a passed pawn, isn't it? And passed pawns are good, because they can march freely. So what do you think, after the exchange of these pawns, the remaining isolated pawn on b6 would be strong or weak? We'll get to that in a sec. Knight e7 and rook b1. An important decision, because this gives up the fight for the open c file. But Lila calculated that Sifos can't do much on the open file, as long as those knights are guarding the important entry points. And the rook is threatening to push back the queen and advance with the a-pawn. Sifos wants to double the rooks, but now comes knight c1 heading to b3, harassing the queen. Rook c8 now would be a mistake, because after knight b3, the queen can't go to c3, because rook c1 traps it. And after queen a6, a5... Taking the pawn and giving up control of c5 is out of the question. Knight a5, rook c7, knight c5, and black has to start giving up material. Queen d6 is also bad after knight b7, queen c6, rook a6, queen e8, and knight d6. So, instead of taking, black would have to play b5, also giving up c5, and it's not a fun position to play at all. All these squares here are weak. So doubling the rooks is no good. Sifos played bishop f5, which now after knight b3 would allow queen c3, since uh, black would have two attackers on the knight. Rook b5, queen c3, and just calmly rook a2. Rook c8. Sifos wants to take the knight and uh, get a better position. For example, if king h1... Then after the pieces get exchanged, queen takes, rook takes, king h2, bishop d3 is very good, heading to c4 and getting a great position. So Lila avoids that with king h2, now the queen is not pinned, rook back and a5. Rook f6, rook c3, queen c7, takes, takes, king g1, defending f2, and rook c6, renewing the threat on c1. Lila plays knight e2, queen d6, and g4, trying to find out what are black's intentions with the bishop. Sifos went back to bishop g6, supporting an h5 break. So, back to my initial question now. Is the pawn on b6 weak because it's isolated, or strong because it's a passed pawn and has an easier time going up the board? Well, as usual, it depends on the position. And in this one, white has more space and forces on the queen side. Black's bishops are in no position to support the advancement of the pawn. Black's pieces are 
tied down in defending d5 and b6, so it's safe to say that b6 is a weakness, and since black has no play on the queen's side, he has to counterattack on the king's side. He could open up some lines with h5 or f5 and bring these pieces to the king's side and try something there. Lila though was very patient with her attack on the weak pawns and she played knight g3. h5 now would just lose a pawn and f5 is also bad because it weakens this diagonal. White could play rook a7 attacking the defender of d5 and threatening stuff like this but queen f3 is also good and after f4 takes takes and knight e2 f4 is falling. So instead of f5, Sifos played king a8, but after rook a7, f5 still doesn't work because of queen f3. So bishop f8, and after bishop f3, Sifos moved f6. A sad move to make, but d5 needs help from the bishop. King up, rook c7, and queen a1. Having successfully stopped black's counterplay, Lila now proceeds with attacking b6 and d5. Queen d8 takes takes and queen a6, rook back defending the pawn, queen b5, rook b8, rook b2, queen c8, king h2, bishop f7, knight b4, bishop e8, the queen now goes here, bishop f7, knight a6, starting to harass the defenders, and after some shuffling around to improve the position, We get to this position where the knight jumps into f5 and after rook c7 queen b1 the bishop takes out the knight and Lila recaptures with the pawn. There followed rook c3 and after some moves in which Sifos tried to achieve something on the queen side unsuccessfully, the knight from c1 starts a journey to h5 from where it attacks f6. There followed queen b7, bishop d3, rook c3, rook b3, rook c8, queen b1, rook b8, rook b5, bishop g7, and queen b4. And black is without any play, waiting for its execution. Lila threatens to invade with queen d6, so Sifos plays queen c6, but now after queen a3, Lila threatens to go to a7 and threaten mate. And rook b7 doesn't help due to queen a8 and after queen d7, black gets into a tsukzwang position that happens a lot to Lila's opponents. The queen has to defend both rook and pawn, the rook has to defend b6, the knight is pinned, the bishop has to defend f6, the king is blocked, so there is no one left to play. And Lila will just use her bishop to get the d5 pawn. So after queen a3, Sifos prefers to give up the pawn with queen c7. The rook takes and after bishop f8, queen b3, queen f7 attacking the knight, bishop e2, knight e7 and rook b5, the queens come off and then eventually we get to this position where Sifos gives up the bishop to defend h6, but the knight also gets into a pin, so after rook d6, Sifos has to give up the b6 pawn since uh, rook b7 doesn't help after bishop f3 and uh, one of those is gone. And this position with two extra pawns was eventually won by Lila. A great strategic play by baby Lila, who, who probably is not such a baby anymore since she's leading the competition. Please subscribe, like and share and check out some other videos, you might enjoy them. Thanks for watching and see you soon.